Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. And if you're already subscribed, now's the time to hit the like button because you don't have any other buttons to press. Okay, so let's talk about what happened recently. This is kind of an unusual situation. So I don't normally pop on when my base is getting attacked, but I just happened to earlier today. And this is what I saw. Dr. Mushtaba from the clan, Dr. Mushtaba is getting ready to attack my base, or so I thought, getting ready to attack my base. Check out how long this timer has been running. Apparently he was AFK, or, well, you know, I don't want to assume anything, but okay. If you guys don't know who Dr. Mushtaba is, there's a clan, one of the top clans in the world, that is filled with Dr. Mushtabas, who most of them are trophy leaderboard players, well over 6,000 trophies by the end of each season. It's kind of crazy. People ask me all the time, Galadon, make a video about this. So, okay, here, I guess the universe or the Clash universe was calling me to at least address this situation specifically because here's Dr. Mushtaba not attacking me. Now, I did realize that most likely the reason this happened this way, and this has happened to me in trophy hunting, is whoever was playing this account was away from their device when they found my village and they didn't hear the clashing swords in time, they didn't make it back in time, and they gave up. They let me walk away unscathed, not getting attacked. Of course, I'm going to get forced back out onto defense anyway, but okay. So that's the first part of the story. So the second part of the story is I'm in global, which I do a lot when I'm streaming on Twitch or Facebook. And while I was in global, sure enough, none other than a guy named Dr. Mushtaba from the clan, well, okay. He was from a clan called Galadon UR Bay at this point, but obviously he saw me in global. He dropped whatever clan he was in. I don't know what clan that was. And he created this clan called Galadon UR Bay, which I thought was pretty funny. Now, normally I don't just jump out and hop in any old clan, but this was kind of an exceptional circumstance. So I decided why not? Let's check it out. Dr. Mushtaba, the leader of Galadon UR Bay. Now, a couple of things. First of all, I have to apologize if any uh, less than appropriate messages slip through in clan chat or in global chat in this video. Uh, you guys know how it is, okay? You know how globals are. I mean, it's funny. I talk about it in live streams, and I do go into globals all the time in live streams. Usually, though, I'm in Norsk right now. Usually, I go in regular old English global, and it's funny. It's almost always the same way. I'll get like one or two or maybe three people that freak out because they know who I am. I'll get at least one, if not two people who know who I am, but are angry about it. And then I'll get a few people that have no idea what's going on. And it always makes for a pretty comical time in global, I have to admit, uh, because I get, I get people who love me, I get people who hate me, and people who are just angry at the fact that people are reacting to some random dude named Galadon. So yeah. And if you saw the Instagram post the other day, uh, pretty funny when Supercell didn't recognize me. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, go. Now is the time. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Both are at Galadon Gaming, and I would appreciate that greatly. Okay, so back to the matter at hand. So we end up in Galadon UR Bay, Dr. Mushtaba. Now, the funny thing is, is he claims to be the guy that passed me earlier in the day. Now, this is kind of a weird coincidence, right? You think that's like a million to one shot. Well, I did check out his player profile and he was definitely not the same Dr. Mushtaba that failed to hit me earlier. And it's funny because this guy claims that he passed me on purpose, which we all know is probably not the case. Anybody that's that high is going to attack whomever they can. And I doubt that most of the Dr. Mushtabas, and that's the thing. Who is this? What is the story behind Dr. Mushtaba? There's 84 gazillion Dr. Mushtabas and you know, but you know, name changes are cheap these days. I wouldn't be surprised if this were kind of like the 50 Galadons. Do you guys remember 50 Galadons? Raise your hand or say in the comments if you remember 50 Galadons or for that matter, 100 Galadons or the third clan 150 Galadons, they all existed. Uh, 50 Galadons is still out there, and there's still like a dozen or so Galadons in there. That was a lot of fun. We had a blast with that, and uh, yeah, we did beat... Who did we beat? We beat somebody who... Oh, was it 50 General Tonys? Yeah, we beat... We beat 50 General Tonys with 50 Galadons. I think that was hilarious. If you guys missed that video, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but I don't know about 50 Dr. Mujtabas. Those guys are all like 
rocking maxed out or nearly maxed out bases. So, okay. So I thought, you know, we're in this clan. Of course, I'm going to throw some attacks. I thought that I would see if I can triple a Town Hall 10 with Queen Charge Minor without the Miners. So tripling a Town Hall 10 with Queen Charge, uh, period. Just just Queen Charge, nothing else. Just not using the Miners at all, just the Heroes. Getting that Queen Charge in there and it worked out pretty well. So the fun thing, I was just going out and attacking everybody's base in the clan just to see what would happen. Now, it was interesting because this is something that i enjoy doing if you guys do happen to come by a live stream make sure that you get involved because we do stuff like this all the time a couple of things one i do create clans like this where we just hang out and number two if i find you in my global chat and you say hey galadon i'm in your stream my username is blank and you're in my global chat and my stream at the same time i buy you a gold pass Yes, the gold pass. I'm not joking. I will buy you a gold pass until it gets out of hand and too many people are saying it. But until then, if you are in my global and in my live stream chat at the same time and let me know, I will buy you a gold pass. So the offer stands. Okay, so we have a lot of fun in these streams. I mean, you know, I do troll global a lot. I wouldn't say it's trolling. I mean, I drop in to say hi. I'm not being mean or anything like that, right? It's just fun to talk in global and see what happens to be popping up sometimes i will admit i go into global chat and i see the subject and i just i have to leave i can't even stick around and uh, no it's just yeah most actually that's probably most of the time to be honest but yeah okay so here's another this was a slightly tougher town hall 12 i guess tougher than a town hall 10 uh pretty not too hard of a town hall 12 anyway and we went opposite the eagle artillery just for fun see what would happen turns out it worked out pretty well the Archer Queen got in there. We didn't even really bother funneling the miners on the right-hand side. Just dropped them all in here. Where is my Barb King? I don't even remember where I dropped him. He's like, I guess he's on the left or something like that? I don't even know. But that's not the point. We will get down to the point of this video in a second. And that is Galadon versus Dr. Mushtaba. We are going to friendly challenge Dr. Mushtaba. He's going to attack me and I'm going to attack him. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top. So instead of a 50 Galadons versus 50 Dr. Mushtabas, this is one attack for all of the... Uh, not really for anything, just for whatever. Okay, so here we go. Dr. Mushtaba versus Galadon. He throws up his pace. So obviously not one of the stronger Dr. Mushtabas. He's not rocking the fully maxed out base. And uh, this, this was obviously not a war base. This was a trophy base. And I thought, well, what the heck, you know since the defenses are not looking all that tough let's try queen charging this from the bottom i mean it's so far away from the eagle from the town hall why not come from way over here on the bottom right hand side and see what happens so we drop the queen down here and i don't really know what i was thinking here i guess the idea was that with this wall wrecker the archer queen would head towards that eagle and we could get it out of the way uh, i did see the friendly multi-target infernos which always make me happy when i'm using this type of attack and the baby dragons trying to get the archer queen to behave notice yeah she's this this is what usually happens to me in live attacks especially on streams is she just doesn't behave so she wanders she goes way out it's not a queen charge at all it's a queen walk and she's gonna walk all the way down and what what is it? Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, I cannot wait. I cannot wait until the artificial intelligence gets fixed. And the Archer Queen just, just, yeah, I, I don't even know. So she gets down here and you notice that the uh, clan castle, my siege machine, uh, Pekka and Ice Golem have gone to the bottom. So I don't know, they're a wrecking crew. They've got like half the base down. So we'll go ahead and drop what we've got up at the top. We've got the Barb King. We try to do a little bit of funneling. Maybe take out some heroes up here. That doesn't work out real well because we've got the defending Archer Queen and the Clan Castle up there. We've got the damage, the 50% for the star right there. And heck, this little troop, the little gruesome threesome right here, Archer Queen, Pekka, Ice Golem doing a great job and not a whole lot left to this base with about 90 seconds remaining. And notice there's 11 people watching right now. So no pressure, no pressure on Galadon to perform. But here come the miners anyway, from the far right hand side one more time. Last rage spell on the Archer Queen. The heal spell a little bit early on the miners. I realized that should have been deeper and delayed a little bit more. 
But watch as those miners roll in right after the town hall. Archer Queen, she doesn't need healers. She's out on the left hand side, finally using her ability. And heck, three quarters of this space is down. It looks like one of the last structures to go is going to be the Eagle Artillery, completely contradictory to how you would normally run a Queen Charge Miner attack, <laughs> letting the Eagle Artillery do damage all the way throughout the battle. Not a good idea. But it's actually still going pretty well, thanks to a little bit softer on the heroes and maybe some of those defenses. Definitely not one of the 6,000 trophy Dr. Mujtabas, or maybe he is. I actually didn't check his trophies. I don't recall. There's so many of them. I mean, you can't keep track. And again, is it one guy? Is it 50 guys? I don't know. But I do know this. This is going to be a three star. Not a lot of time left, but a lot of miners are left. And look, the Archer Queen, she finally goes outside a wall for once. Didn't matter. Miners got there first, right by the gem box, making Peter proud. Galadon picking up the three star. Okay, Dr. Mushtaba, he got his own shot at my base. Uh, it turns out I gave him my war base. So we're not going to show that simply because I'm not ready to give up my war base layout to you guys it's it's still doing really well in wars so we're going to hold off on that and save it for a future episode but the moral of the story is if you see a galadon in global chat be nice to him it could actually be me okay at least check out the base check out the clan i'm in first before you start insulting fake galadons and even then don't insult fake galadons maybe they're just fans maybe just say hi and remind them in all caps, subscribe to Galadon. Or hopefully they already have. Anyway, that is it. Galadon wins match number one. Galadon versus Dr. Mushtaba. I am ready for the rematch. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for hanging out. Make sure you have a fantastic rest of your day. Get out there. Be kind to people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. How about $15, page of $17? You can't handle it.